unusual Here we are with the Redwood Burrow Company and the Fall Show in Colorado. This stuff is amazing. Yeah, it's cut from the roots of trees. That's why it looks so unusual. And it has that really high figure grain pattern in it as a result of wood that is growing under duress generally. People are going to ask you, where did these trees come from? Well, if I'm working with redwoods, they come from the West Coast. But I use maple burl, I use all sorts of wood. And the prime requisite is it's unusual, especially in the shape. And that's what I really uh, do. And I have a whole barn full of this wood in Englewood. And people with any real interest usually love to come down there and dig through the wood. The concept's a little bit the same like a, a pumpkin field before Halloween. I see you have a variety of types of furniture. Yes. From wall to table, and what else? What I do is I let people come in and see the unfinished wood. They gravitate towards the shape of the things that interest them, and then we decide what we're going to do with it. Because some people might turn a piece of wood into a, uh, an end table, might be able to use the same piece of wood to put on the wall to do a wall tree, just a sculpture to put on the wall. So I let people give me an idea what they, how they like to utilize the wood before I make it up. But I have plenty of things to give them ideas to. What is the process of, of getting a piece of wood to creating the furniture? Well, we get the roots that are left over from the logging industry. They use the tops of the trees for dimensional lumber. We use the roots that are left behind. So we kind of take the salvage. We don't cut live trees to get this wood. And we take the roots, cut them up, dry them, and leave the natural edges and design coffee tables, for example, seem to be maybe half of my business as it's the most obvious thing to do with it. But um, people find all sorts of applications and often things I've never even thought of. Um, and put a finish on it and make it so you can use it. And when it comes time for one to get one of your products, where do they go? They come to the farm where I actually operate this business off a private farm and I work by appointment. I used to run a big business on the West Coast with employees and I got tired of that. Now I just do custom work for people and they come down and we dig around the farm and we come up with ideas. Maybe half the time people come down with one idea after running around the farm for 10 minutes. They go, hey, could we maybe use this and do this and so on and so forth. And the wood drives the creative process. How can they get a hold of you? Well, they can get a hold of me by looking up the Redwood Burrow Company and uh, giving me a call. I've got brochures and you can come down to the farm and pick out a piece of wood that you like.